Hi everybody, this is TT Readings and today this reading is going to be for Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you Virgo. This is going to be your reading for the month of November. Okay, let's see what are the energies that pop out for you. Check out the link in the description box. It's going to take you to the extended. In the extended, we will see how is your person feeling about you, your person of interest. What are the coming up energies for you, the outcome of the situation, advice, oracle messages, love notes, self-love messages, um, messages from your person. So what are the coming up energies for you? Do check that reading out for extra extra clarifications it's not just about your person it's about you as well so check it out if you want it's going to be linked in the description box for you messages for virgo for the month of november okay let's see we have the queen of cups followed by the devil king of swords nine of swords knight of wands i do see somebody coming in towards you um Damn. Okay. That's you. Bottom of the deck, we've got Ten of Swords. I feel like there's a certain situation that you're not really giving into. Okay. Um, I feel like currently you're not really giving into this situation, Virgo, for whatever reason. I feel like you're very withdrawn from it. Although there is a lot of love in your heart for this person, okay? Um, I feel like, and that love at times holds you back as well. So you might find yourself um, in that position at times where it's hard for you to let go of the situation. I do feel like somebody here was unnecessarily being cold towards you in the past. And with that energy, I feel like you you really, you know, distanced yourself from a certain individual because a situation became confusing for you. A situation became uh, more of like, uh, you know, it was bringing you more anxiousness than, you know, it was bringing you happiness. So even though you loved this person or you still love this person, there is that energy where you're, you, you, you know, you're still attached here, okay? You're still attached. Uh, coming up energies for you, we do have the Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords, Three of Cups, Queen of Swords. A lot of energies here talking about somebody wanting to communicate with, with you, wanting to talk. This is definitely the one who got away from you. Um, I feel like you've got trust issues with this person, Virgo, which to me, this looks like even though you might be contemplating, even though you might be trying to move on from the situation, you are still... Uh, hoping for a better outcome here okay somebody was being extremely cold with the queen of swords, swords and the king of swords energy that is two people being counterparts to one another and right now i feel like you both are mirroring each other okay with the temperance and the five of cups at the bottom energy so it does look like you were disappointed or this situation didn't turn out to be the way you you expected for it to you know Right now, you're going through healing. Right now, you're going through that time period where, you know, you're contemplating things. I see a lot of healing here. I see a lot of, like, searching for happiness. And let me tell you something. That happy energy is surrounding you, whether you're aware of it or not. Because I do feel like you're a little bit of that. Uh, a little, you're, you're in that energy, if I can talk. You're in that energy where you are kind of like um, not really recognizing that there is still happiness at the end of the tunnel for you. So some of you might be feeling very like tensed um, because a certain situation didn't go the way you planned for it to. Okay, and something came to an end here or somebody distanced themselves from you and that caused a lot of pain. Let's see. I, I definitely feel like you were hoping for a better outcome out of this, Virgo. You Maybe you expressed your love here. Maybe you were the one who expressed. But at that time, this person was being more logical than, you know, thinking with their heart. So thinking, you know, they were thinking with their head, not with their heart. 
and it does look like you were waiting on something it's like a lot of you were also planning for a future together with this person for whatever reason it didn't turn out that way so right now you might be distancing yourself some of you are telling yourself that it is done even though you still feel insanely attracted to this person there's a lot of that heavy energy you know there's that energy where you might be telling yourself that it is done but it is not really done okay um the energy is still lingering on we have capricorn virgo scorpio leo cancer gemini evidently here let's see though we have libra too let's see wow five of swords so your person's energy is the hierophant strength and the five of swords whether you know it or not virgo this person does see future with you they even see commitment with you but i feel like their actions show otherwise uh this is somebody who kind of takes an easy way out at times this is somebody who might come across as you know a little bit manipulative at times and it is not because they are they have some malicious intent it is because they're maybe they are like that maybe they are not very emotional but it looks like they have faith in this they do see a future here with you but maybe this person wants to take things slow as well maybe they don't want to um maybe they don't want to what i apologize for that so maybe the maybe this person doesn't want to uh come across as somebody you know in your face kind of so i feel like definitely this person kind of like is a little bit laid back when it comes to expressing their love tell me more about this moon card here i do feel like you're in that energy where you're contemplating you're thinking but you're not really making moves towards this person page of pentacles so there is um you know willingness to take things forward here from this person's side but for whatever reason i feel like there is always that mysterious side to this person virgo and right now i feel like you are becoming more intuitive a lot of you already know that this person likes you but there is that you know then why don't they pursue me the way i want to be pursued you know there's that kind of an energy six of cups again you know i think virgo there is definitely willingness on this person's part to communicate with you to talk to you this is a soulmate kind of a connection ace of swords and the knight of cups in the reverse <clears throat> again i feel like you are emotionally withdrawing from the situation because right now you feel like it's important for you to make that decision right now you feel like it's important for you to decide for yourself which way do you want to go because you are also prioritizing other things in your life you know you're also focused on other things in your life not just your love life in general you know so you're trying to like decide for yourself that you know maybe i need to go somewhere else or maybe i need to shift my focus a little bit and this also to me looks like virgo that when you distanced yourself because when you are really in that situation you don't really see what's going on at times i feel like you have to distance yourself from the situation to be able to see a few details that you might have missed before so i feel like you're definitely coming in with that vision where you might be noticing some red flags about this person and you know that is why it kind of like looks like you're taking away your love from the situation temporarily because in the back of your head there is still a lot of love and care and in your heart of course but this is that you know always that voice inside of you that tells you no you know <laughs> i definitely feel like some of you are over analyzing the situation so be careful with that energy because at times things are not even there but if we think like that or if we're of course you know if something nothing is wrong okay but if you're looking for faults we will find them so be careful with that energy you know um again it is good to contemplate but um with the knight of cups in the reverse energy I do feel like you're wanting clarity, you're wanting truth, which it is coming towards you with the Ace of Swords and the Six of Cups. 
this person is very willing to come forward and communicate with you to talk to you to express something this is a connection that they cannot really let go of easily which again it doesn't really seem like it on the surface it doesn't really seem like this person is that bothered but the truth is that they are the distance here bothers this person and at the end of the day i feel like this person wants you around whether it be relationship wise or friendship wise this person never wants to give up on this or to never go away from you tell me more about this i don't know somebody is still hoping for a better outcome here two two of cups again you know two of cups three of cups I do feel like this person is really wanting to reconnect with you. For a lot of you, I do see that this person might even apologize uh, for the ways, um, you know, for something that they have done to you before because they do realize that you are not the one who would step back. Now that you're stepping back, they're realizing things. And with the sun card, there again, that, that underlying energy is still there, Virgo, that you both find happiness with one another. In this reading, I'm getting a lot of like energy where somebody is wanting to pursue the other person, okay? So we have two of cups and the three of cups. Again, you know, this is reconciliation. This is somebody wanting to reconnect with you, okay? You might not trust this person though. You might not trust this person. I see four of cups. You might be saying no to this. You, we have two of cups, three of cups, four of cups. So I feel like you're feeling a little bit discontent right now. Some of you are, you know, wondering where, where is this person? Why are they not pursuing you and things like that? That's creating a lot of discontent. Okay, that's creating a lot of that energy where you might be feeling like, you know, what's going on here with this person? Tell me more about that Four of Cups energy. The Magician. Again, you know... <laughs> Virgo, tell me one thing. Even if you separate yourself from the situation, you still want this. If, if this person returns and they apologize or they act right, you will take them back because there's a lot of love here that I see. And this person, I don't really see. Um, I, I just feel like this person is somebody who doesn't really rush in and they don't really make a decision. They like to think about it and, you know, they like to analyze things before they say anything with the magician and the four of cups it looks like you're waiting for something here it looks like you're waiting for some sort of a um something big to come your way you know in terms of love some of you are waiting for that proposal but you have to take things slow so even in the past i feel like because of somebody's unrealistic expectations you you had your expectations really really high that's why you got disappointed because this person was like acting detached at times even though they're still coming in towards you with a lot of passion, there's always that detached energy coming with it. Um, which is, again, not because they don't want you. It is just because maybe this person has issues committing right off the bat, okay? With the Magician and the Four of Cups, I do see a lot of new energies. I do see a lot of you manifesting new things into your life. And I see a new beginning here. But with that beginning, it feels like you have to be open to receive it. You have to believe that, yes, that new beginning that happiness is coming my way unless you believe in it how will it come your way right we have the justice and the ace of ones again somebody wants to make things right with you i see this connection picking up pace again honestly virgo i see this connection picking up pace again i see you two dealing with one another again um it's like somebody wants to start over with you because again they don't like being apart from you okay that justice energy is the energy where somebody wants to make things right. Keep that in mind. Tell me more about this. Let's see. Let's see. Tell me more about this. We have the Ten of Cups. Wow. 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 So there is somebody who sees a be, uh, you know, be all end all kind of a situation with you. This person's in love with you. This person's in love with you, Virgo. And... You know, I see a lot of new energy coming your way as well. This could be a new person or a past person. And for a lot of you, I do see involvement of two people here. Okay, there could be... Because you seem to be the center of attention here, Virgo. Let me tell you that. So there could be two people who come your way, okay? If that's not the case for you, then there is love coming in for you. Definitely, there are a lot of new energies. There are a lot of new beginnings in love for you. 
it looks like things that were not working out in the past will finally start to make sense again, you know, because in the past they were not in, you were a bit confused, okay? Now the rest we will clarify in your extended, we will clarify about these new beginnings in love as well as what is your person thinking, feeling about you, what is coming in love for you in the next few months. Um, what is the outcome, advice, oracle messages, love notes, self-love notes, messages from your person, all that good stuff. So do check it out. It is going to be linked below. Let's see. What are the messages for Virgo? Okay. We have meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. Pisces energy. So you might be a Pisces. You might be a Pisces. You might have Pisces in your chart because Pisces is... <clears throat> the opposite of virgo it comes you know you are yeah pisces and virgo are six months apart so again there's that need to like i said before you know a lot of you are becoming more intuitive but there's that need to um balance things out okay show the world the real you full moon in aquarius you might be like getting a little bit moody you might be going in your own you know a little like hermit mode but that doesn't mean you start hiding away from things enjoy yourself nothing is again you know if you think that things are not turning out the way you want them to you have to give time you have to give it time and i feel like if you let things unfold the way they are supposed to be unfolding instead of what you want. You will see better results. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. This card is popping out for a lot of people. Maybe because of the Mercury retrograde. Um, <laughs> um, but there is new love coming in for you. There's definitely new love coming in for you. Um, a new cycle in love. Whether it be with a past person or a new person. But it's time to release some build up negativity. Okay. Let's see what the Romance Angel Oracles are saying for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. We have Express Your Love, Getting to Know Each Other, and Very Soon. Again, I definitely feel like there is somebody who's going to be making that move towards you very soon. But um, they're kind of like, this person is a little bit conflicted as well if you, if you want them or not. I do see communication happening. I do see expression of love. See? Tell me more about this, please. Tell me more about this. We have attraction. Pay attention to the red flags and retreat. Let your friends help you. Some of you are way too cautious. It definitely looks like you're, you're definitely keeping the past in mind and then moving ahead. But... There is insane attraction here that somebody feels towards you and they're going to be expressing themselves pretty soon. Okay. So that's about it. Those were the messages that popped out for Virgo. I hope you were open to receive them. Check out the link in the description box. It's going to take you to the extended. And in the extended, we will clarify more for your person. How are they feeling? How are they coming in towards you? What are the energies? that are popping out in your love life in the future, all that extra stuff, self-love notes, all that extra information that if you want, you can check it out, okay? So that's it. Take care and bye-bye.